What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're doing things a little different. I'm showcasing to you floor plans that I haven't shown you or some floor plans that maybe I have, but these are 2022 models. So these are last year's models, but they are discounted at such an incredible price that they're affordable for a lot of folks now they're finally attainable you know the rv industry has had the prices so high that a lot of folks have been shopping around they're like we just can't afford to get into it because these prices are so high and finally we're starting to see a really cool respite in terms of discounts off of 2022 models that dealers still have and i'm not just saying explore usa is the only one i'm sure there's a lot of dealerships even some around you that are doing the same thing but definitely check out some of these models because the pricing on these things is pretty phenomenal considering it's still a brand new unit right the dealership still will support it will still take care of it will prep it for you get it all ready for you but you're getting it at a significantly lower price than they've ever cost in the past so we're going to take a look at this cedar creek champagne edition which is our higher end edition this thing has an msrp of over one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. and wait until you see the price so i'll talk to you about that when we uh, get inside but real quick we're going to hop around take a look at the numbers of this unit hang tight i'll be right back All right, so before we look at the numbers, please, if you haven't had a chance, take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It'll let you know when new videos come up, especially on this series, because the pricing on some of these units is gonna be pretty phenomenal. And I'm featuring everything from travel trailers to fifth wheels, uh, pretty much any towable. So we'll, uh, we'll try to go over them all. Anyways, numbers on this unit. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of 18,000 pounds. This thing's heavy. Cargo capacity of 4,269 pounds. It's got a lot of cargo capacity, which means the dry weight is 13,670. 72 pounds, 42 feet, two inches long. Um, it rides on twin 8,000 pound axles and has 17.5 inch H rated tires. So a lot of good stuff going on here. In my opinion, I would not tow this behind anything other than a dually. You want as much stability and redundancy as possible and payload capacity and a dually is gonna provide that. Just make sure it's a modern dually and you always check your numbers. Anyways, let's hop on the inside and we will uh, see what's going on in there. Then we'll come back out and then I'll go over pricing once we get inside of the Cedar Creek 38EL. All right, nice friction hit door. Huge door too, grand entrance for sure. All right, so we're gonna pan around here real quick so you can take a look at it. And we'll talk about pricing for a second. So MSRP on this unit is $153,396. You know, if you were shopping for this last year, you'd probably get this for maybe 10, 15 grand off of that price. What do you think the discount on this price is right now? Just, you know, you saw what the suspension was about in terms of axles. You saw the tires, H-rated tires. You know, when we get outside, we'll go over more of that. But what do you think the actual discount is? It's $47,000 off of that price. So the actual sale price on this unit is $105,899, which for this type of unit is actually close to pre-pandemic pricing. This is close to the pricing that you would have paid just not too long ago. And there's a lot of upgrades here. Some you can't even see. For instance, insulated windows, dual pane windows. Each dual pane window in an RV costs three times more than the standard window it replaces. And this has all insulated windows, which is really, really cool. This unit also has three whisper quiet air conditioning systems. One right there, one right there, and then of course one up in the bedroom. Plus again, all the suspension stuff we talked about. Check this out. You have an eight bottle wine fridge in here, upgraded sink, upgraded sprayer, beautiful neutral color tones. Look at this. Even the storage in here, check this out. It's all like drawers and everything. They've done so much in the Cedar Creek that it just really, really stands out. Plus you have the upgraded, this isn't the Insignia, this is the, what is that one? The Greystone. So you have the upgraded Greystone, which is kind of the competitor to the Insignia. Still full drop-in residential, four burner, has a good size oven. Up here, I'm betting this is gonna be a convection microwave. Yep, has a convection microwave in it as well nice lg cabinetry all around plenty of prep room on each side of the stove really nice backsplash coming around here you got your tv already in place nice panoramic fireplace sound system has the upgraded 
lighting system as well to where it's all like battery controlled, which is super cool. You have a full size sofa back here that turns into a bed. No end tables, but this is kind of something Cedar Creek's been doing for a while. Day night roller shades as well. So you can black out the interior if you want to make it darker on the inside. Very nice. Again, all dual pane insulated windows, cabinetry everywhere. Whisper quiet air conditioning system, which is still quieter than a lot of the quiet cool systems you typically see. That's why a lot of manufacturers still utilize that. Over here you have your theater seating. It's like pretty much everything's power on these things. Nice dinette area over here. The other two chairs will probably be under the bed. Coming over here, you got a nice little bar area. Great spot for a coffee maker right there. Got more pantry space. More storage up top. More storage right here. Tons of drawers. Not soft closing cabinets or drawers though. Oh, cool. Well, this is interesting. So it has another little drawer above your trash cans. Kind of a hidden drawer. Be a great place to store your keys and things like that. And your controls, I'm imagining, are back here. Yep. It's got the one control from LCI. It has solar charging as well, so it's got a 30 amp solar charge controller on it. Then you also have a nice little coat closet. A little area to step up here. A window with a blackout blind on it also. Check out this bathroom. Beautiful bathroom. This is one of those mirrors that's backlit. Beautiful, beautiful sink. All solid surface materials. Check this out. That is a gorgeous shower. With a little drain pan at the very end. Oh, there's your toilet paper holder. That's cool. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Spot for your towels. Toilet trays as well. Spot to hang your towels. Very nice. Let's step into the bedroom up front. So this is a really nice bedroom. They give you kind of a cool little heating system up here as well. But this is awesome. King king size bed, plenty of room on each side of the bed. They actually give you extra room that you typically wouldn't see in an RV on both sides. Beautiful headboard. Here's your third AC unit. Up here, you have tons and tons and tons of shelves. That's really cool. It's typically something you don't see, plus your hanging rod up top. And then you have a spot for your washer and dryer. Now I'm kind of confused here because with the floor stepping up like this, I'm not exactly sure how you would support the washer and dryer in here. It's kind of confusing to me. You might have to put some type of a platform underneath it because this is where you'd put your dryer vent and all of that. And it shows it right here, but again, you still have to kind of level that floor out. And then there's a mini refrigerator inside of the closet, which is kind of cool. Plus there may be storage under here. So there is, you got some storage under here. Um, you can tell right off the bat when a unit has dual pane windows because it's just quieter inside. And it's significantly quieter inside of this unit than several other units that don't because of those dual pane windows. Lots of drawers, lots of wardrobe storage in here as well. TV already on the wall. Very, very cool. And I'm sure the other two chairs will probably be under here, which, mm, yep, they are right there. Nice strut arms to support the bed. Anyways, let's hop outside of this unit, take a look at the outside and see what it's all about. Okay, starting up front, you have the Kurt Air Ride front pin box. Huge airbag right here, which you add air to, and it really can dampen a lot of the trucking and road vibration between the truck and the trailer and the trailer and the truck. Front basement's already open, so let's check inside. A lot of storage in here. This has a hydraulic leveling system on it. A little spot for your leash right there if you have a dog. Twin 30 pound propane cans on this side. Nice thick baggage doors. Huge storage here, because this does ride on a drop frame. You have a power cord reel on that side. Very cool. They have the schematics for the control panel here, plus your road vac. Underneath, you can't see the frame from this side. You have your spray port. You have your outside 110 for your TV, everything out there. One of your leveling jacks. Nice Cedar Creek cut into the steps right there. 
This has a, looks like a, well, it looks like an 8-inch I-beam frame attached to a 12-inch I-beam frame. Road Armor suspension, heavy-duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, as well as the Westlake G-rated, or sorry, H-rated tires. They're actually very good tires. Nice rack and pinion system for the slide. A little outside entertaining area with the TV. Tire pressure monitoring system included. Coming around to the back. So you can definitely tell your higher end Cedar Creek units because they have the back fiberglass cap. And the champagne is the higher end trim. Nice LED lighting, full walk on roof. Cameras are ready in place as well. Again, frameless dual pane windows. Another rack and pinion slide, 12 inch I-beam frame. This is a really, really nice fifth wheel. Very heavy though, so again, I de definitely recommend a dually. Outside of your furnace, outside of your AquaGo on-demand water heating system. And the other side of your cord reel, power cord reel, along with a really nice Nautilus water panel. Everything is really set up well here. So you can actually turn off your hydraulic controls to each room if you'd like. Plus your flush is up there and your battery disconnect over here. Beautiful unit. Again, really thick baggage doors. But I'd love to know your opinion on this unit. What do you guys think? Whoop. And it looks like you have, okay, spot for your batteries over here. So you have two trays that pull out and you can put your batteries in place right here, which is really nice. But what do you guys think of this unit? Especially with the discount in place. You know, a unit like this, over $150,000 last year, now just slightly over $100,000 with the discounts, as long as you're willing to get a 2022 model. I'd love to know your thoughts. Please leave a comment below. And if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.